Yo, what's good with y'all? In today's video, I'm about to show you guys how to make a animation that you can bind to a key. So when a player presses a specific key, it'll play whatever said animation is. This video was requested to me by one of my subscribers. His name is Connor Rock Real, um, underscore YT and stuff. Appreciate the suggestion and stuff. And I hope this video is what you're looking for. I want to say thank you guys to all the support. I, I might be tripping, but I swear to God, I swear on Tuesday, we had like, 224 subscribers then when i came home on wednesday we had 230 i don't i don't know if i'm tripping but all in all in all is i appreciate the support we're about to get to november and we're already about to be halfway to 300 subscribers i really appreciate all the support guys and yeah reminder to join my discord and roblox group links can be found in the description and stuff and yeah let's get straight into the video all right so you're gonna need a remote event because you're sending us you're sending a um what's it called you're sending we'll say a signal from the clients to the server because we need the client side to detect when a player is clicking not only a key on the keyboard but the specific key that we're binding the animation to then we want the animation to play on server side now if you want the animation to only play where like only that specific player uh sees the animation then you would just have a, have it all on a, on a local script and you wouldn't need a remote event but if you want the animation to play on like where everyone in the server can see including the player who's anim like who's like the animation is going for them stuff like that then you would do the method i'm about to show you guys so yeah let's head on over to replicated storage click the plus icon insert a remote event then we can rename it uh animation event we'll call it that yeah Head on over to server script service and then insert a server script. We can call this our we can call this our animation animation play script. We'll call it that animation play script. Then of course we're gonna get our we're gonna reference our uh, remote event. We can delete this, then do local animation event is equal to game that replicate storage animation event. Then we can click enter twice. Do animation event dot on server event connect function then in parentheses do plr which stands for player then the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to do player I mean game dot workspace wait for child player dot name the reason we're doing this is because when a person jo like joins the game they're loading into the game their character hasn't fully loaded yet so if someone is like already spamming the key at like while they're like loading into the game and stuff they're in the server but they're still loading in and stuff like that and their character hasn't loaded stuff like that it'll error it'll obviously work like a few seconds later but if but by doing this you just avoid any errors and stuff like that you're pretty much telling the the, uh, the game or the script i should say wait until the character has loaded into the workspace so we can like pretty much when you're able to find something in the workspace that means it's loaded pretty much and stuff so that's why we're having this here then we're gonna have a local character we're gonna have our character variable local character is equal to game that uh, i mean spell like that game that workspace find first child then of course player dot name that's how we'll get the character then our local humanoid will be we can do character dot humanoid rather than character wait for child humanoid because our character has already fully loaded which means all the children have loaded which is of course what we want then we go up here we can do we can click enter just to put a space in between it then we can do local animation is equal to instance dot new parentheses i mean not parentheses um oh well, yeah parentheses then quotation marks animation enter again then do animation dot animation id then here you're gonna put quotation marks roblox asset id and then colon two forward slashes and then here you would put your id now i have my id already chosen out and stuff so you guys need to go ahead and get your id if you don't know how to get your id you guys can just really just let me know in the uh, description i mean not description the comments and i can explain explain it to you so you'll know how to uh get your animation id mine is right here and stuff just a little animation i made a while ago and stuff not for the video this is like months ago and stuff but yeah though so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do local we're, well we're gonna click enter to get a space then we're gonna do local animation track is equal to humanoid load animation then in parentheses, we're going to put animation because that's the animation we're loading. Then we're going to put animation track play because we're telling it to play. We're telling the script to play the animation 
run it. You could say run or play animation. Doesn't really matter. But yeah. All right. So we finished things on the server side. There's a few things we got to do on the on the local side or client side. I should say. Yeah, client side. Yeah. And that is simply just rec uh, getting the script to recognize when a player is clicking a certain key. For the video, I'm going to be using the the E key. So we're going to go we're going to go ahead and start start our player. Go to starter player scripts, insert a local script, then we can rename the script to um, animation signal script since it's um, in a way signaling when a player has clicked the signal script. Okay. So, of course, we're going to need to get the local animation event. You can literally just highlight this or select it, I should say, then just do control C, come over here, then select that, control V to paste over it. And then you're gonna to want to get the user and user um UIS, which is local user input service. I call it UIS for short, but local UIS equals game get service user input service. Then we're gonna do UIS dot input begin connect function parentheses. You're gonna put input. Then you're gonna do if input dot user input type is equal to enum dot user input type. Dot keyboard then if input dot oh key code is equal to enum dot key code dot and then here you would put the key that you want for the video I'm gonna do the e key then all you gotta do is do animation event fire server that's it all you're doing is just firing the remote event that's all you're doing then you send no type of information over so yeah we can go ahead and we can test this we go in game As you guys can see, the animation is playing. Don't question what the animation is, but the point is the animation is playing every time I click the E key. The animation is playing and stuff. Every time I click the E key, it starts the animation over again and stuff. And yeah, but yeah that's how you bind an animation to a key. Hope the video was helpful. If you guys need any help, leave a comment down below or join the Discord. Links to join the Discord and Roblox group can be found in the description. Um, yes, the description. Appreciate you guys for all the support. Love you guys for some of my videos. And yeah, I'll see you guys.